Coming up, it's a special high school quiz show, baseball edition with the American League All-Star. <laughs> Taking on the National League All-Star. That's next on the High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first ever high school quiz show, Baseball Edition. I'm Billy Costa, your host. And today's show features two all-star teams made up of students nominated by schools or coaches for their knowledge about America's favorite pastime. All questions in this show are about baseball. And each team will be led by a very distinguished manager. And before we meet the teams and their managers, it's time for you folks at home uh, to grab your mobile phone or tablet so you can play along with us live right now. And all you have to do is log on at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Now, for today's matchup, we have the American League All-Stars taking on the National League All-Stars. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. Representing the American League, we have Anug from Ipswich High School, Gabriel from New Mission High School in High Park, Brian from Holbrook Junior Senior High School, and Paige from Boston Latin School, and their manager, the voice of the Boston Red Sox on Nesson, Don Orsillo. Hey guys, let's go guys, let's do it. Good. Wow! Time, morning time. Morning time. Morning American time. League. Representing the National League, we have Chris from Swampscott High School, Justin from Boston Latin Academy, Aaron from Natick High School, and Joe from Waltham High School, and their manager, baseball reporter for ESPN Boston, Gordon E. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Let's do it. That's here at National League. Okay, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and there are no point deductions for any wrong answers. You will need uh, to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. And before we actually start the game, any final words of advice from the coaches? Don, how about you, the American League? Yeah, to the American League, let's, let's, let's think about the Boston Red Sox and what they did in 2013. They started off tough in spring training. Nobody expected a lot, and we expect a lot from you. Let's go. <laughs> Fire up. Gordon Eads, you're heading up the National League. What do you think? National League team. I saw those chest thumps during introductions. I know you guys aren't lacking in any confidence whatsoever. Act like you've been here before. Trust your knowledge. Respect your opponents. And kick some butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I have to tell you, Gordon Eads brought his game face uh, today. He was trying to psych out Don in the, uh, in the green room. We'll see how it all goes. All right. If everybody's ready to play the game, let's go. What summer resort village in New York is home to the Baseball Hall of Fame? Yes, Joe. Cooperstown. Correct. The beards on the 2013 Boston Red Sox are already legendary. What first baseman earned the nickname the ringleader of the beards? Yes, Justin. Johnny Gomes. No, American League, yes. Our... Mike Napoli. Yes. More balls go to what defensive position than any other? Yes, Anug. Our... First base. No, National League, yes. Aaron. Shortstop. Yes. In uh, 1920, the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth's contract for $100,000 to what team that had never won a world championship? Yes, Brian. Uh, the New York Yankees. That is correct. Atomic number 13 refers to what chemical element used to make metal baseball bats? Yes, Joe. Carbon. No, American League, Brian. Uh, composite. No, aluminum is the answer. You know, you only get one shot over there, okay, National League? Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, the next question is going to be on your video screens, and it's the guy who came to Boston and brought the Red Sox to a World Series his first year on the job. Hi, I'm John Farrell, manager of the Boston Red Sox. Here's my question. Named after a former Major League pitcher, what surgery for injured elbow ligament is common among baseball players? Yes, I know. Tommy John. Yes. Uh, Red Sox anthems, Tessie, and I'm um, shipping up to Boston, were recorded by what Celtic punk band from Quincy, Mass? Yes, Jack Kate Murphy's. Yes, that's correct. Uh, the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was formed during what 20th century conflict? Yes, Joe. World War II. Yes. Uh, in 2013, what Red Sox center fielder signed a seven-year, $153 million contract with the Yankees? Chris. Jacoby Ellsbury. Yes. What Civil War hero who fired the first shot in defense of Fort Sumter was falsely credited as the inventor of baseball in 1907? Chris. Abner Doubleday. Yes. What team that played at Ebbets Field is notable for signing Jackie Robinson as the first black player in the modern major leagues? Yes, Aaron. The Dodgers. Yes. Baseball bats have a center of percussion where the impact with the ball, as felt by the hands, is minimized. It's commonly known as what spot? Yes, Justin. The sweet spot? The sweet spot is right. In the 2013 Boston mayoral election, most of the 560 write-in votes were for what Red Sox player? Yes, Joe. Yes. In uh, 1989, who became the only person to hit a major league home run and score an NFL touchdown in the same week? Was it A, Deion Sanders, B, Michael Jordan, C, Bo Jackson? Yes, and no. Bo Jackson. No, National League. You want to take a shot, Aaron? Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is right. And by the way, also the only person to ever play in both the World Series and the Super Bowl. In uh, 2013, more than one quarter of Major League players were born outside the U.S. Uh, what country contributes more foreign-born players than any other? Yes, Aaron. Dominican Republic. Yes. When Daisuke Matsuzaka joined the Red Sox in 2007, much was written about what supposedly new pitch thrown with a spiral-like spin and sudden drop. Yes, Joe. A gyro ball? Yes. Uh, what famous poem by Ernest Thayer ends with a line, but there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. Uh, Chris? Casey at the bat. Yes, in 2004, what Japanese-born player broke George Sisler's 84-year record for most hits in a single season? Yes, Gabriel? Ichiro Suzuki. Right. Game 7 of the 1986 World Series was one of the most watched games in history. The Red Sox lost to what team? Yes, Joe? Montreal Expos? No, American League? Brian? New York Mets? Yes. In what year did Jackie Robinson break the Major League color barrier? Was it A, 1937, B, 1947, C, 1957? And Aaron? 1947. Correct. Next question is going to be up on the video screen. A very special guest. Pay close attention. Hi, I'm Will Middlebrooks, third baseman with the Boston Red Sox. Here's my question. When a pitcher releases the ball, what large three-headed muscle on the back of the upper arm provides power? Yes, Joe. The tricep? Yes. Uh, what Puerto Rican player who died in a plane crash in 1972 was the first Latino player to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Brian. Uh, Roberto Clemente. That is correct. In 1985, who surpassed Ty Cobb's record for most career hits? Joe. Pete Rose. Yes. In 1948, what great pitcher from the Negro Leagues made his rookie appearance with the Cleveland Indians at age 42? Yes, Chris? Satchel Page. Yes. In 1989, the Texas Rangers was sold to an investment group that included what future U.S. president? Yes. Uh, George W. Bush. Correct. All right, take a look at your video screens. That's where you'll find your next question. In fact, for this question, we went out to the Red Sox bullpen. Hi, I'm Craig Breslow, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. Here's my question. What Hall of Fame catcher, nicknamed Campy, had his career cut short in 1958 when he was paralyzed in an automobile accident? Chris? Roy Campanella? Yes. In 1995, what player nicknamed the Iron Man broke Lou Gehrig's record for most consecutive games played? Chris? Cal Ripken, Jr. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I was having so much fun. But that is the end of the first round looking at the score. American League right now, 80 points. National League, 180 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody.
round is up next but first we're going to take a little break in the action and just chill out a little bit and the way we do that gang is uh, I've got a question in my hand I will ask the question each of you will get to answer okay we'll start with you and uh who's your favorite baseball player and why Derek Jeter um because he's a, a classic leader and a class act at playing baseball now I was reading your bio and you say your command of baseball facts is encyclopedic. Yeah. All right, good for you. Uh, Gabriel, same uh, question for you. Jose Iglesias, because he has the best hands in the MLB, and, like, he's the guy that I want to be like when I grow up. And you're a ball player, right? Yeah. Uh, who are you playing for right now? I play for New Mission High School in um, Boston Astros. And uh, how you doing? How's the team doing? Doing good. Okay, good. Uh, Brian, same question? Uh, Dustin Pedroia is my favorite baseball player. Just uh, the way he plays the game. Uh, very aggressive at the plate and everything. I'm a good leader, so I like all those qualities. Okay, and uh, you're a bit of a broadcaster yourself now? Yeah, I have a local cable show on, on the Holbrook Channel, which is the town I live in. We talk all sports stuff, so it's uh, okay. pretty fun. Same question for you, Paige. Uh, John Lester, because you remained loyal to the team when another team offered him more money, he said they'd have to rip the shirt off his back before he left the Red Sox. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, now, Paige, you played baseball, and then at one point you switched to softball. Yep. And you're currently playing now? Yep. For whom? The Raiders out of Concord in Boston Latin. What position do you play? Uh, shortstop. All right, good for you. All right, now we move over to the National League. And uh, Chris, same question. I'm going to go with an old one, Nomar Garcia Parra. Whoa. It's my saddest day of no my man. life. That's right. <laughs> saddest day of my life was when he got traded. I was at a birthday party, did not stop crying, I had to go home. Now, you're a broadcaster yourself too, right? That's right. I have. Uh, I broadcast almost every sport in Swamp Scott. Call me the voice of the big blue. My teacher is actually here, Mr. Reed. There you go. Um, so I love what I do. Uh, Justin, same question. I would have to say Mike Trout or Robinson Cano. And uh, why is that? They're both great players. They both work hard. They, like Mike Trout came into the league. He came in working hard. Best, one of the best center fielders, Robinson Cano. One of the best second basemen. And uh, you're a ball player? Yes. What position? Second base, right field. Uh, who are you playing for? Uh, Boston Island Academy or the Boston Astros. Good for you. Aaron, we got some ball players here, gang. Uh, Aaron, how about you? Same question. You know, Billy, I kind of got to say, I got two favorite players. I got Miguel Cabrera and Mike Trout, but I mean, not just because they're amazing players and they're, you know, having amazing seasons and careers, but they helped me win my fantasy baseball league this past year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, and so you, you can't argue with that. All right, Joe, now it's down to you. Uh, pulling out a classic, Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh. You know, just like the way he played the game, always giving his all. He didn't always swing the fences, but he knew when he had to hit home run, he would do it. And do you play ball now? I do. Uh, you playing for Waltham? Yep. Position? Pitcher, outfield, and first base. Kind of doing it all, huh? Lefty. All right, good for you. Okay, it's time to go head-to-head, -head. and for today's show, we're going to bring out our esteemed managers onto the field and into the game play, representing the American League, Don Orsillo! <laughs> And for the National League, it's the incomparable Gordon Eads, ESPN Boston. All right, I am so excited. This is a first for a high school quiz show. We're going head to head. I've got Don Orsillo right here, Gordon Eads right here. Let's relax just for a couple of seconds, all right? Uh, first of all, Don, uh, what are you most looking forward to from the new Red Sox season? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if they can do what they did last year. I mean, last year was such an incredible, uh, improbable season. The, a lot of the same guys are coming back. It'd be interesting to see early if this team can continue the winning that uh, brought them a championship last mm -hmm. year. Gordon, any surprises in the offseason that, that has you keyed up? No, I, I think the thing that, that I'm most looking forward to, Billy, is, is the emergence of the two kids. Jackie Bradley Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, looking to start in center field for the Red Sox and Xander Bogarts, who showed the uh, poise of a 10-year veteran during the postseason last year. That should be a, an interesting development All to right, watch. Now, Gordon brought his game face here today. I thought for sure you were just going to say, I'm just looking forward to crushing Don Orsillo right now in the head-to-head -head round. Uh, I hope you don't mind, Gordon. Uh, Don and I talked. We're going to do this whole round in Italian. <laughs> All right, here we go. But, but, but Billy, before we start, okay. I, I wonder if you should have Don wipe his hands off. You know, would, would hate for it to slide off the, uh, the buzzer because he's sweating so much. Okay. Let's go head-to-head. -head. The head-to-head -head round is 
90 seconds. And I need to explain, you get 10 points for correct answers. And incorrect answers will cost you 10 points, okay? So your Ooh. teams are counting on you. Uh, you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. And if you guys are ready, we've got the clock set. And uh, here we go. What award honors the best pitcher in the National and American Leagues? Yes. The Cy Young Award. Yes. Uh, what Boston Sports Arena is named for an outstanding football and baseball player for BU and the Red Sox? Yes, Harry Aganis. Yes. In uh, 2009, what shortstop broke the Yankees' hit record held by Lou Gehrig for more than seven? Yes. Derek Jeter. Okay. Uh, the term sabermetrics was popularized by what 2003 book by Michael Lewis? Yes, Don? Moneyball. Moneyball. Uh, what U.S. president gave his final campaign speech at Fenway Park November 4th, 1944? Yes, Gordon? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yes. Uh, in the 1970s and 80s, what manager was hired and fired five times? Billy Martin. Billy Martin. Billy Ball. Uh, fictional pitcher Sam Mayday Malone appears in all 11 seasons, yes? Cheers. Oh. Yes, oh man. <laughs> what longtime announcer for the Chicago Cubs was known? Harry Carey. Holy cow! Um, <laughs> what first baseman for the Tigers was named the American League MVP? Yes. Miguel Cabrera. Yes. What actor plays fictional baseball prodigy Roy Hobbs in the 1984? Yes. Robert Redford. Yes. Eight members of the Chicago White Sox took part. Yes. The 1919 Black Sox. No, scandal. no, you jumped too early, Gordon. Cincinnati Reds would have been the answer there, but I'm going to move on. In 1959, what African-American player broke the Red Sox color line? Yes. Pumpsy Green. Yes, in 1951. Oh, man. <laughs> I was having fun. Uh, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round. Uh, the score right now, American League, managed by Don Orsillo, 120 points. The National League, headed up by Gordon Eads, 240 points. Let's hear it for both teams and their managers. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Okay, next up for the contestants here in studio and for everybody playing along at home, it's the category round. And we've got six categories, and they are nicknames, familiar quotations, fever pitch, Stats and bats, one for the books, and pop fly. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. There is a lot at stake in this round. You can confer with your teammates, and you'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you buzz in. Uh, now, the American League team, headed up by Dorn Orsillo, is slightly behind, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be, team? Stats and bats. Stats and bats. Let's go right there. These are uh, questions about baseball statistics. And for 10 points, when a pitcher throws a live ball to a fielder to tag out a base runner, the attempt is known as a PK, which stands for what? Yes, Aaron? Pick off. Correct. National League, you've got control of the board. Category? Uh, let's go with nicknames for 10. Questions about well, baseball players' nicknames. For 10 points, uh, what baseball legend with a remarkable 56-game hitting streak was called the Yankee Clipper? Yes, Gabriel. Joe DiMaggio. Yes, and now American League, you've got the board back. Category? Stats and bats for 15. Stats and bats for 15. What infraction is charged against a pitcher when his pitch is too high, too low, or too wide of home plate? Chris? It's a ball. No. American League, you want to try it? Yes. Oh, no. uh, wild pitch. Wild pitch is right. You've still got the board, American League. Stats and bats. 20 points. Which of the following does not affect the player's batting average? A, fielder's choice. B, sacrifice fly. C, walk off home run. Yes, Joe. A, sacrifice fly. That is correct. And now, National League, you've got the board. What's it going to be? Let's go stats and bats for 25. 25 points. If a team plays 25 games and earns 125 runs, what is the team's average number of runs per game? Yes, Joe. Five runs per game. Correct. Category? Stats and bats for 30. 30 points. Stats and bats. Uh, calculate a player's batting average if he gets 15 hits out of 60 official at-bats. Yes, Chris? It's 250. 250 is right. And National League, you've still got the board. You'll need a new category now, though. Nicknames for 15. Nicknames for 15. What Red Sox outfielder nicknamed the Splendid Splinter hit 406 in 1941? Yes, Aaron? Ted Williams. 
Yes, and you've still got it. You want to stay here or move? Nick Nims for 20. 20 uh, for his clutch hitting in the postseason with the Oakland A's and the New York Yankees. Who was nicknamed Mr. October? Brian. Reggie Jackson. Correct. Category? We'll do Pop Fly for 10. Pop Fly. Uh, questions about baseball in popular culture. And for 10 points, uh, what 1908 song by Jack Norworth and Albert Von Tilser uh, has become baseball's unofficial anthem? Yes, Aaron. Take me out to the ball game. Yes, and now National League, you're back in control. Category? Eh, nicknames 25. Nicknames 25. Uh, what player who began in the Negro Leagues and played in 24 All-Star games was nicknamed the Say Hey Kid? Yes, Chris? Willie Mays. Correct. Category? Nicknames for 30. 30. Regarded by many of his contemporaries as the greatest player of all time, what shortstop was known as the Flying Dutchman for his superb speed? Yes, Aaron. Honus Wagner. Yes. You'll need a new category, National League. How about Pop Fly for 15? Pop Fly 15. There's no crying in baseball. Uh, Tom Hanks delivers this memorable line in what 1992 film about a women's baseball league? Yes, Joe. A league of their own. Correct. Category? Pop Fly for 20. 20. According to Abbott and Costello, who's on first and what's on second? Name the player on third. Yes, Chris. I don't know. I don't know is right. Uh, <laughs> you've still got the board. Fever pitch for 10. Fever pitch. Questions about pitchers for 10 points. Uh, what pitcher, known for his knuckleball, retired in 2012 after 17 years with the Red Sox? Chris? Tim Wakefield. Yes. Category? Fever pitch for 15. What Red Sox pitcher for the 2004 World Series is an eight-time All-Star and three-time Cy Young winner? Yes, Joe. Kurt Schilling. No. American League? Brian. Pedro Martinez. Yes, indeed. You've got the board. American League. Fever pitch for 20. 20. Uh, the New York Mets won the 1969 World Series with help from what great pitcher named Tom Terrific? Yes, Aaron. Tom Seaver. Yes, and you've got it back, National League category. 25. Fever pitch. 25. Uh, what Red Sox legend was one of the best pitchers of the 1970s and won more games than any other Cuban-born player? Chris. Louis Tiant. El Tiante. Yes, and you've still got the board. Fever pitch for 30. In game two of the 1916 World Series, who pitched a 14-inning complete game to beat the Dodgers 2-1? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. National League, you've got control. Category. Quotes for 10. Familiar quotation. Questions about uh, baseball quotes and for 10. Uh, what catcher is known for amusing sayings such as, baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical? <laughs> Joe. Yogi Berra. You got it. Uh, you're going to stay here? Oh, and there's the bell ending the category round. The score right now, American League, 180 points. National League, 475 points. Let's hear it for both teams. the final 90 seconds of game play the lightning round now you get 20 points for correct answers incorrect answers will cost you 20 points and as a reminder you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer the clock is set and gang good luck here we go what is the oldest Major League Baseball park still in use? Yes, and Fenway Park. Yes. Major League Spring Training is held in Florida. And what other state? Arizona. Yes. On a baseball position chart, what position is listed as number one? Yes, Pitcher. Chris. Yes. Uh, Bruce Springsteen's album, Born in the USA, includes what song about high school? Yes. Glory Days. Yes. What Detroit Tigers pitcher was named American League Rookie of the Year in 2006? Yes, and Justin Verlander. Yes, name the only major league team whose home stadium is outside the United States. Yes, Aaron? Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, in 1914, the Red Sox purchased Babe Ruth from what minor league team? Yes, and uh, uh, Pawtucket Red Sox. No, Baltimore Orioles. In 2012, what Seattle Mariners pitcher threw the 23rd? Yes, Brian. Felix Hernandez. Yes, King Felix. Fenway Park is on what street named for a former, yes? Yaki Way. Yes. Uh, what Canadian team moved to Washington, D.C. to become the Washington? Yes. The Montreal Expos. Yes, in January 2014, what 37-year-old slugger for the Texas Rangers announced his retirement? Yes. Michael Young. No, Lance Berkman. Uh, what diehard Red Sox fan is the author of horror novels like Misery? Yes. Stephen King. Yes. Uh, what World War II veteran and great hitter for the Cardinals? Yes. Uh, Stan Musial. Yes. The College World Series is an annual tournament held in what? U.S. City. 
Brian. Omaha. Omaha is correct. Oh, there's the bell ending the game. And the winner, the National League, 555 points. American League, 300 points. That's a good time. It's all about baseball. And a special thank you to all of our All-Stars and, of course, to Don Orsillo and Gordon Eads for a great game. But that's it for now. And we'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show. Boom! Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises, some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. production of WGBH.